I be thinking about the ops. Like, when is they gonna slide? All right, wait. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, what's good, y'all boys? So, listen, listen, listen. I know I said I was gonna stay consistent, and I am being consistent. I am. I'm doing a video for y'all right now, and y'all gonna watch it soon. But listen, I was gonna do a video a couple days ago at Revive with Bryce, like I promised. But we've actually been in the works of like uh, helping him get his first YouTube video out because he is blowing the fuck up on TikTok and like everything right now. Especially because you know Sebum talks about him and shit. I wanted to help him out, so now I'm gonna be, I guess, like his cameraman, and I'm gonna do videos for him. I think we're gonna do it like once a week, and on top of that, I'm gonna still do my videos once or twice a week. So it's pretty cool. We did his first leg day video, so go watch that uh, after my video, <laughs> of course. So go watch that. Um, I filmed it, and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've, I've, I've been trying to film for somebody for like a while now. Um, when I take my pictures and shit in the gym, and when I record myself, whatever. I can get really good angles. It's just I never had the opportunity to do it for someone else. So with Bryce, you know, I get the opportunity now. And it's pretty cool. So like I said, go watch it. But after this video, not, don't, don't skip this one. <laughs> oh, fuck. But hey, y'all boy, I got to update y'all boys with a lot of shit once we get inside. I just ran to the post, not, not literally ran. I just went to the post office to drop off um, an order for the brand. And I got to update with y'all with that too. It's, it's Shit has been crazy lately. But let me get inside real quick before... A fucking fanboy pops up and tries to fucking rob me in my damn car. And I'll see y'all inside in a second. Three hours later. Bro, what the fuck is that? Nigga, what? Bro, is that a snake or a worm? What the, what the? Um, is that going inside my house? Oh, hell no. You gonna die, my boy. You gonna die. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, where is the bleach? Where is the bleach? Hey, listen, y'all boys. I'm really not afraid of snakes, but, um... That looked like a fucking gargantuan worm to me. And uh, that nigga is not going inside this house. <laughs> no. Ooh, actually, I can give it to my, my cats. Ooh, should I? <laughs> oh, hell no. Where the fuck is it at? <gasps> um, nice. <laughs> going to sell the house now. Well, don't need that. Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna lie, y'all boys. If I see that shit inside this house or if I'm sleeping and I feel some shit crawling in my asshole, and it's that shit, I'm killing myself. It's over. Ooh, hey, real quick though, peep the quads. Woo! Yes, we're still cutting. I'm about to update y'all in a second with everything, but look, oh my, they glistening. Shit! All right, but anyways, this is episode 25 of the comeback series. Listen, guys, I'm getting pretty cut. Like, I know I say this like every video, but I'm actually like cut now. And, um, you know, I could stop with the cut right now, but like I said, I'm really trying to see like what my body looks like, like completely shredded. And I'm not talking like, bodybuilder stage shredded but I want to get pretty lean and see you know what my physique truly looks like because I told y'all when I was bulking it was for a long ass time and you know I gained like 40 pounds during that bulk unhealthily but still I'm trying to see what this body you know holds you know what I'm saying oh peep the eyebrows though holy shit all right anyways okay ADHD but yeah so the morning weight right now I believe is around 189 190 I'm still eating around 2,600 calories. Well, now I'm at like 2,500. So I could do a full day of eating for y'all. Um, next video, if you want, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll probably do that for y'all. And as far as training goes and everything, I'm still pushing very, very, very hard. I'm talking like failure to every set. Like literally, like if I'm doing a hammer curl, I'm like this nigga. <laughs> but more recently, I've, I've just been trying to have like more fun training i know before um i would stick to the same workouts focus on progressive overload and yes that is one of the best ways to grow but i don't know more recently i've just been trying to like you know like live life you know what i'm saying and not be so strict with the training so yes i am pushing myself to like to the max on whatever i do but now when i go into the gym i just kind of do like random shit like obviously there'll be those couple exercises that i always do and stick to but I, you know i've been changing it up recently just trying to you know change shit and it's definitely safe to say you know i've been maintaining my uh, strength during this cut too um, the other day I did, I did 90s on shoulder press, which I haven't done since my bulk. And I'm pretty sure during my bulk when I was like 215-ish around that, I did 90s for like 8 to 10. And I did it the other day for like 7 to 8. So I'm definitely, you know, maintaining my strength, which is good. I'm happy about that. But next bulk we do is not going to be dirty. I've done a dirty bulk every single time, bro. And I got to stop with that shit. I got to do it healthy this time. So we're going to do a lean bulk to like 210. 215 probably do another small mini cut and then probably maintain around like 220 because I don't want to be too big because Like I said, even though I was a fat fuck when I was bulked up. It was like hard to breathe nigga I'm talking about I'd walk to this damn couch and I'd be like <gasps> Hey, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all boys. I was gonna do a video for y'all with me off DM I think it's called DMAA. It's okay. So DMAA I don't know like exactly what it is or what it does, but 
It's some illegal shit. It's what's in the dark energy pre-workout that you guys see. You know, these kids on TikTok trying out and they're cracked up off like a thousand milligrams of caffeine. I basically took that pre-workout, which, you know, of course I got from fucking Bryce Psycho ass. And I did it, uh, I think like, I took it like three times already. I don't like have like the actual like thing with me, but he's been giving me like, these little packets. And bro, when I tell y'all that shit gets you cracked up, bro, I'm talking about... Roll a clip. Free who I said, man. Free gunner, free young thug, free all the boys of the motherfucking county, nigga. We about to turn them up. Like, bro, when I take that shit, like, I'm talking like 10, 15 minutes later, I'm cracked to the max, running around the house. Is there an ant on my arm? Fuck. I'm talking about, I be running around my house, I be, oh my god, and, like, music just hits, like, 10 times better, and the workouts, I be like, <laughs> like, that shit is the real deal, but I'm, I'm not taking that shit anymore. Like I said, I was gonna do a video for y'all with me on it, but I already have heart problems in my family, and I have a feeling if I take that shit one more time, I'm literally gonna, like, fucking just fall and die in the gym, like, dead ass. But it actually felt like, okay, even though it, okay, hear me out. I know it's a crazy ass pre-workout and it's way too much caffeine. It had like 600 milligrams. But at the same time, like, I stopped taking pre-workout for the longest and being back on it, bro, I felt like amazing. But I do have a um, pump product I take now that uh, Bryce hooked me up with. Let me go find it real quick. I don't know why it's in my fucking clothing brand room. So this right here, I picked it up at the uh, Fitness Society shop that's in my town. But um, I've been taking this and it honestly is really fucking good. And obviously it's a non-stem because not only do I work out late still, but you know, I don't want to be uh, up all night and shit. But here's the back of it. It's got some citrulline in it, of course. It got beetroot. Nigga, it's got the, um, where is it at? It's got the pink Himalayan salt. So I would try this out if I was y'all, boys. It's really fucking good, I'm not gonna lie. But obviously for it to actually work, you have to be hydrated and that's how, you know, it gets into your body, into the muscles. So make sure you're drinking like a shit ton of water, you know, throughout the day and even during your workout. And trust me, you'll feel it. And you're about to see tonight, boy. I'm talking, I am shredded now. But hey, while we're in here, you know what I'm saying? We got the clothing brand right here. Um, we still have a plenty of stock left, but I recently have been working on like marketing and influencer marketing. And I'm pretty sure I told you on the last video that Tommy was in our clothes and I got a couple people to sponsor it. And um, I also started up that brand ambassador program. So not only do I have like all my people that follow me and look up to me and you know fuck with me that you know can start their fitness journey and you know have a special code to them but it also boosted the hell out of my sales and it also funded the season two drop. So yes, you heard it here first and if you're following me on social media, obviously you probably already know but season two is officially on the way. I'll give you all the preview right now up on the screen. We got the Terrence Ruffin white shirt with the green lightning shorts we got the sebum tee that's selling out we got the sebum tee with the purple shorts and we got the breon ainsley shirt with the cloud shorts uh, bro and i'm kind of happy that like i literally designed all that shit myself i told y'all before i used to have a graphic designer but this nigga scammed me ken if you're watching this fuck you but yeah i used to have a graphic designer but he just stopped replying to me uh, i should have fucking known 500 down the drain <laughs> hey that's what entrepreneurship is about you learn some you get scammed you 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 know no, I'm sad. $500, nigga. I'm gonna use that for fucking food. But yeah, bro, I'm so excited. I placed the bulk order, I think, two nights ago. So it should be here at the beginning of next month. So wait, wait, what's next month? Give me a second. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. October. So it should be here in the beginning of October. And of course, we're gonna do another photo shoot at Revive with the boys, Bryce, and I'll probably get Connor again. It's gonna be crazy, bro. I'm so fucking hyped. I know we're selling out for sure this time. You know? I thought I had a lot of hype, and I did my first drop, but it, bro, it should, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm just super hyped, getting ready for all that shit. Um, I don't know if y'all knew, I think I told y'all a couple of videos ago that I was starting drop shipping. My first store wasn't successful. I know, I know. It's, it's, it's straight, though, because, you know, not it's, it's not going to be your first store that, you know, it's going to blow up. I'd be lucky as hell. But I'm currently working on my second store. I'll show y'all right now. I don't really mind if you copy the product or anything, but I'm about to show y'all. This shit looks tough, bro. But hey, it's just learning experiences because, bro, if I can get this drop of, drop five, if I can get this drop shipping shit going, bro, these niggas make thousands like every day. I'll be financially free, travel the world, fund my brand, fund myself, and this, bro, it's over. <laughs> it's over. That bitch from the Philippines, all the drugs I'm off the morphine. Skinny nigga, but I can screw his bitch. Summers is so gas. Oh my god. Now we are turning around because I forgot my computer is in the other room. Like, bro, look at this shit, bro. This shit is tough as hell. What? This shit's so tough, bro! Oh my god! So yeah, we're gonna try out that product for the for the drop shipping shit. 
Um, if you're thinking about copying it or you do drop shipping too, um, I wouldn't copy it just because I'm still learning everything and I don't even know if this is a winning product. You know, hopefully it is and you know, I can get some sales off of it and promote it and everything. But like I said, it's all about trial and error, but I'm really trying to become financially free, whether it's through my clothing brand, this, other sources of income. You know, I'm gonna do it one way or another. <laughs> Or I'm gonna hit the streets and start fucking flipping cocaine. But yeah, I'm super hyped tonight. We got chest and back, which is my new favorite. Even over legs. Yes, I said it, even over legs. So I believe it's gonna be upper back focus. So you're gonna see a lot of rowing movements. And as far as chest goes, still sticking to the same movements of flat dumbbell bench press. I might hit some uh, Smith Machine incline press, but I was supposed to do arms and shoulders on Sunday. Because as you guys know, my mobility day is on Sunday. But sometimes I'll hit arms and shoulders because, you know, I'm trying to bring up the frequency of it and it is a lacking body part of mine or body parts, whatever. So, but I was so cracked up off that pre-workout because I took it that day and I ended up hitting chest and back instead. So we've only had like a day or two in between for rest for our chest and back workout tonight. But we're still going to push it as always. It's still going to go heavy. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, and that too. I still keep the same tempo and try to, you know, control the eccentric as much as I can. But I've really been going like heavier lately and trying to get like my strength up and I've only been working in the rep ranges of like anywhere from 5 to 10, maybe 12 and obviously I'm still doing drop sets, supersets, all that but I'm not really going that high in reps anymore. I'm changing it up for a little bit. But alright y'all boys, I'm gonna um, get hydrated because I haven't really drinking water that much today. Work on my Shopify store, anything I got else got going on and um, I'll get back to y'all boys right before it's time for the workout as always. We definitely gonna take that pump tonight, get a big pre-workout meal down and uh, I'll meet y'all boys then. Lil Autumn hold the fucking Draco, my bitch cooking shit in Barbados. <laughs> While Patchy pulls himself together, let's see how SpongeBob's party is shaping up. All right, y'all boys, so it's currently, I don't know what time it is, but we're about to head out to go hit the workout, chest and back, like I said. Um, I'm not ready yet, because I, I gotta show y'all the fit, bro. You guys know I be snapping with the fits sometimes, and this shit snaps. Look at this shit, bro. Wait, I don't think I showed y'all the samples yet. This is the C-Bum shirt sample. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a skinny bitch. You know, I'm not no skinny bitch, nigga. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. But look, we got the VPC C-Bum tee right here with the purple Inaka shorts. Plain white Nike, so Nike socks, because, oh, never mind. They're fucking stained. Uh, we got the Gymshark stringer, which we probably will be showing off today, because I know usually I just keep my pump cover on, but we got to do... Is somebody calling me, my nigga? And then we got the Retro Ones with the red hat with the red in the background oh my god it's over who's calling me nigga all right anyways back to this so yes this is just the sample and this is actually going to be a one of one shirt because um i'm actually making it in white instead because the shorts that i have coming with this for the next drop are going to be um purple with the red outlining as well and with this shirt thank god it's only a sample it is it doesn't look dark on camera but it's very like shady and dark in person i i want it to be more bright like the other shirts so and we, we we already got it fixed i talked to the manufacturers and they handled it for me but it's gonna be the same material too the heavyweight thick cotton bro this outfit snaps dog but i ain't gonna lie i got fucking where is it at where is it at i got protein all over my damn shoes because look bro so i told y'all me and bryce have been like working together and i've been helping him with his shit so i pulled up to where he works at the supplement shop right and I have a, a big ass like uh, a protein shake with me because I, I haven't ate anything that day. And I go inside with all my shit in my hand. And for some reason, I didn't put a lid on it. I put tin foil on top of the cup. <laughs> and I was going to set my computer down and it spilled everywhere. I'm talking like, this didn't even look like a smoothie, bro. It looked like diarrhea spilled all over the floor, all over the chair. It got all on my shoes and my clothes, but I was so mad, and Bryce was mad as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why they got a little bit of a shit stains on them, but we'll go ahead and wash them again. But yeah, this outfit is so fucking hard, dog. But it's gonna that shirt's going to look better in white, trust me. When you see the fits, it's going to be crazy. But yeah, this is the fit for tonight. Just wanted to show y'all a little breakdown real quick, because you know I'd be stabbing with the fits. <laughs> but now I'm going to actually get ready to put everything on. I just had my pre-workout. had some rice cakes with um, peanut butter spread all on it. And um, some bananas on top with a little bit of salt. Oh, I still got to take my creatine, which I kind of don't want to do because it makes me shit my brains out. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, I'm going to get ready. I'll probably meet y'all boys in the car. I'm about to kill shit tonight. If only I had that fucking pre-workout, dude. I'm telling you, I feel like God on that pre-workout. No disrespect to you, Lord, but holy shit, literally. All right, what's good, y'all boys? So I told y'all we'd be in the car, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go. We got the pre right here. Looks like fucking dragon blood or some fucking magic potion on Minecraft you make. But yeah, we're all ready. We got the water jug. We got everything in the bag right here. I'm about to kill this workout, bro. I'm telling you, upper back and uh, chest too, but mostly upper back is like my favorite thing to train now, bro. Like I go crazy on upper back. Y'all about to see it, bro. But like I said, we've been changing up the workouts. We're not sticking to like everything the same week, but um, I'm, I've been trying to get better at pull-ups. So I think I'm going to start off with that. Well, I actually got to start off with rear delts, but then we go into the wide grip pull-ups and then I've been focusing on bringing up my traps too because I know in the past I said I never used to train traps that I don't really like it, but I feel like it, it when you have like bigger traps, you look more big. I'm not explaining it. Like you look, you automatically look like you work out if you have like big traps. You know what I mean? So I've been focusing on training traps again too, but no, 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 we finna get into this workout right fucking now. I'm already running late, so I gotta hurry, but I'm about to put y'all on some gas, bro. If this just dropped like a week ago, big scar. Hey, this shit is gas. We finna sit the pre-workout and get this shit down while it's playing. Let's get into this, man. Bro, stop sleeping on Big Scar, man. I've been trying to tell, bro. In fact, stop sleeping on my playlist. I have a thousand followers just on SoundCloud for a reason. And I'm about to start a new playlist too, number eight, because you can only have 500 songs on a playlist at once on SoundCloud, which is kind of stupid, but y'all boys need to tune into these playlists, bro, because I really got gas. But we finna head out right now. I'm not gonna lie, I almost just threw up. Look at this shit, bro. This is the fucking shit I spilled the other day at Bryce, at, with Bryce. Fucking left it in the car. It smells like fucking death in this bitch now. But now we've been ahead out for real. Enjoy the workout. I'll get back to y'all boys afterwards. It's about to be some crazy shit. I've been feeling it's going to be packed today because yesterday was Labor Day. I went at prime time, 5 p.m. Thought it was going to be deep as hell. It was dead as shit. So I already know it's going to be deep tonight, but that just motivates me more. So let's get into this. This is Raven Beats. I was good job boy so it's currently the next day and before I go over the workout I just went outside to get the uh, microphone on my camera because it was in my car for some reason and bro peep this shit look at this shit bro bro what the fuck oh bro they're literally back do you know what those are my nigga if you live in Florida you should know what those are love bugs bro 
they usually only come in like in the summertime. Cause I, I think that's like their mating season or whatever the fuck. I don't even know how they have sex. They don't even have penises. But bro, I went outside to go get my microphone. Like I just said, they're all over my walls. And they're like, they're bigger now. It's like they fucking hibernated and then they mutated, my nigga. They're like, they're like two inches big now. Usually they're like, like micro size. But now, bro, they're huge now, bro. Oh my God. But anyway, so yeah, so it's currently the next day. Um, I ended a workout last night and I was supposed to do cardio, but I was talking with my friends, just enjoying myself, having a good time. But I got legs tonight and we'll uh, hit that after the workout. Sadly, because cardio after legs is literally fucking hell on earth. But yeah, no, it was a really good workout. I had a really good time. Uh, I worked out with a couple of friends, but I'm told y'all, still sticking to the same movements. I told y'all I've been trying to progress with the wide grip pull-ups, trying to blow up my upper back because that is a lacking point on me. I already have lats. Like, look. I already got the lats, my nigga. It's, it's already down. But yeah, then we moved in the chest, got that done, and then, I, hey, I told y'all I'm cut now, bro. I know y'all seen the physique, bro. I'm looking crazy right now, especially my chest. Did you see those striations? God damn. And I also had a couple of people come up to me about the sebum tea, which bro, I'm telling you, we will sell out this next drop. We will sell out. It ain't even no question, bro. It ain't no question, bro. But hey, I'm finna catch y'all boys in the next episode, man. Like I said, I'm staying consistent now. Um, I believe I'm filming for Bryce again on the weekend. So go tune in to his channel. His video is literally blowing up. So I'm glad that I can help him and feel for him. But I'll catch y'all boys in the next video. We'll probably do a full day of eating because I'm at like 2,500 calories now. And I, I would say there's probably about like two to three weeks left on the cut if I actually stick to it every day and don't cheat. I'm not going to lie. I went ham on some brownies last night. But hey, I'll catch y'all boys in the next video, man. Stay tuned. I appreciate y'all for fucking with the video. I'll catch y'all boys next episode. I got new cash, I got old cash, goddamn, it's the gold man, it's the gold